Is bankruptcy illegal or immoral? Hi, I'm Dave Falvey, and I've specialized in consumer bankruptcy for over 20 years. Our topic for this email is a question clients often ask. Is bankruptcy illegal or immoral? Now, how can I file for bankruptcy? I get it. No one wants to come to my office. People have pulled into my parking lot and were so nervous and frightened they simply turned around and left. I had a young client who was a big guy. He had to duck to come in under the door when he came into the office. He was, not a word, a giant. But he was a very nice guy coming to my office, and I caused him to have to th throw up in the parking lot. I've told my clients that no one wants to go to the hospital or a funeral parlor, and no one wants to come to my office. And no one graduates from high school or college and while receiving a diploma raises their arms and yells, now I can file for bankruptcy. What are some of the myths about bankruptcy? I'll go to jail. No, you can't go to jail because you owe money. Debtors' prison was abolished in Connecticut, 1842. It will be in the paper that I file for bankruptcy. No, it won't make all the papers. But if you shoot someone in court, that will certainly make the papers. Divorces used to be published in a newspaper, but today, unless you're a celebrity, uh, it, if you have a divorce, it won't be in the newspaper. People can go onto the court's website and discover that I filed for bankruptcy. For the most part, people don't go on the court's website to look for who has filed for bankruptcy. In state court, the website is open to the public and no charge or expense, but the bankruptcy website is called PACER, and to view bankruptcies, you must pay. What are some of the myths about bankruptcy? When I go to court, a creditor will appear wearing a black cloak and point a big finger at me and scream, you didn't pay for your bills. This is a universal fantasy, like the last judgment day. The problem is that this has never happened, nor would it be allowed to happen. My family will discover I file for bankruptcy and I'll be humiliated, is another comment people say to me. If you don't list the family member as a creditor on your petition, no family member will know. If you list the family member as a creditor, they will learn that you file for bankruptcy. I tell clients to talk with the family member before you file and promise that you could continue paying on the debt when you're able. This can happen when the parent or a friend has co-signed a loan for you. What are some of the other myths about bankruptcy? A clergyman told me that filing bankruptcy was immoral and against God's will. And I said to him, well, I'm not a biblical scholar, but let me read Deuteronomy chapter 15 to you. At the end of every seven years, you shall cancel all debts in honor of the Lord. He said, oh my gosh, I forgot all about the Jubilee in the Bible where uh, every seven years all debts are to be uh, canceled. But in the Jubilee, it's every 50 years. I rested my case. One person came to see me but thought bankruptcy was illegal. I referred to the U.S. Constitution, which gives Congress the legal authority to pass laws on bankruptcy uh, and the federal laws on bankruptcy. I simply said I've been doing this for 38 years and filed thousands of cases, and I advertised that I filed for bankruptcy uh, for clients. Wouldn't I have been arrested by now? That stunned the client. He nodded in agreement. Bankruptcy is absolutely legal under the law. What are some more of the myths about bankruptcy? In the past, if someone had cancer, people would whisper the word. They were embarrassed. I tell my clients it's not an embarrassment, it's a problem. And any, anyone on this planet eventually has problems. The real question or concern should be, is there a solution? At one time, there was no acceptable solution to most people. Matter of fact, under the Roman Empire, if you owed a debt, it was a crime, and the creditors could give you a date by when you had to pay all the, the debt. 
and they, or they had two remedies. They could draw and quarter you and feed you to the animals or sell you into slavery. Of course, if they killed you, they couldn't get their money. So overwhelmingly, people were sold into slavery. Now, to get a fresh start, you should do it today. Many times, your first step to getting out of debt as prison is filing for bankruptcy relief. You can get a free copy of my ebook, The Truth About Filing Bankruptcy in Connecticut. You can go to my website, actionadvocacy.com, or call our office at 860 449 1510, and we'll direct you how to get it. Thank you for listening.